What the fuck happens when a colossal fucking refinery can't get its goddamn shit together? Not once, but twice in a single year. At the Silver Eagle Refinery in Woods Cross, Utah, they had a double dose of disaster. First up, January 2009. Some utterly piss-poor operation allowed a massive, I mean a fucking enormous, vapor cloud of light naphtha, that's basically super gasoline, you goddamn morons, to leak from a giant storage tank. We're talking 440,000 gallons of that explosive bullshit just farting into the atmosphere. Naturally, it found an ignition source and, puff, a flash fire rips through, scorching four poor bastards and spreading almost 230 feet. Fucking brilliant. But wait, there's more industrial stupidity. Just 10 months later in November, the same goddamn refinery pulls another stunt. They're baking some dirty metal bits with super hot, high pressure hydrogen gas, a catalyst regeneration. They crank the temperature past 800 degrees and the pressure over 640 psi. And guess what? A crucial 10 inch pipe hooked up to one of their big metal cooking pots decided, fuck this noise, and catastrophically ruptured. This wasn't just a leak, this was a goddamn explosion. That super hot, high pressure gas burst out like a demonic geyser, instantly igniting into a massive fireball. The resulting shock wave was so powerful, it literally blasted through the goddamn neighborhood, smashing up people's homes, all because a big fucking pipe couldn't handle the pressure of their so-called regeneration process. Unbelievable.